Welcome back, welcome back. Um, thank you for tuning in for this latest episode of the Talking Is Football Podcast. Um, we got a lot to talk about this episode. We got quite a bit to talk about. So as of today, April 18th, we've had the first round of the second legs of Champions League go down. Had two. Uh, there's one particular we're going to talk about, but we'll save that one for a bit. Um, uh, cause I was quite surprised by what happened with the Milan tie. Not gonna lie to you, Milan finished the deal. That was surprising. I had Napoli going in, cause you know I really thought they had the wow. advantage because they had. I mean, yeah, bro. I really thought they had the advantage going into the tie because domestically the league is pretty much done and dusted. They're what 14, 15 points clear at the top. They beat you four <laughs> zero. They beat me. The toasted Napoli 4-0. Why are you surprised? No, I was too low on aggregate. What do you mean? I mean, no, I'm in the league. league. Oh, in the league. Well, you know what? <laughs> I mean, that the, I, that didn't surprise me because what are they fighting for? The league is finished. The league is oh, well, finished. That, well, well, yeah. well, I guess that's, that's, I guess that's, that's, that's their problem then. I guess they've already wrapped up. They've already wrapped that's up Serie A. And How they do don't. They don't really want to play. They, I don't know. Maybe they just think they, they can't win or they're not. The levels aren't transferring from how they've been over the season. And mind you, recently they've been losing a lot more and drawing a lot more. But they're, they're so far ahead that it's like they don't care anymore. They, they, they're, already, they're, already on, they're already on vacation. They're, they're in Hawaii. They're, 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 they're in Cuba. They're in Greece right now. So, And Milan, really Milan, Milan have their number. Milan know how to beat them. They, they know how to and sit. They know how to counter. That's what Milan has they know to, how to hit them. For, really. It, yeah. So they and Milan, have the league to, to, to play for. Fun fact. The last time AC Milan made it to the, was it, the semifinals of the Champions League was 2007, and they won it that year. Well, so maybe, maybe they have some belief that they could win it. You know, maybe they, because that's all they got. They're in fourth place. In, uh, That's they're, all they they're, got. Yeah. Yep, they're, they're in fourth place. These guys are 22 points behind Napoli. Fourth place? Yeah. I didn't. Wow. Yep. Wow. Milan's on 53. Napoli's on 75. So, like, the league is, is done and toasted. They just have to make sure they, they finish top four. But uh, hey, maybe they don't have to finish top four if they win the Champions League. Right. I think I know who Stop. my dark horse is. Stop it. Hey, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> hey, I mean, who, who am I going to support? Who, who, out of out of the remaining teams, who am I going to support? It's not going to be City. It's not going to be Richard. Yeah, it's not going to be yeah. Bayern. It's going to be AC Milan. I'm like rooting for your Premier League brethren. You you rather root yeah. for for for. We are not we are we are not related at all. I I don't know you you guys in the blue half of of Manchester. No, no, no. We don't want you to succeed. Come on. <laughs> you expect us to you expect us to root for you? Oh, set this in the red. After all the all the all the lashings you've been giving us over the past couple of years, you expect us to root for you. Ah, who is this I, guy? I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. But uh, um, Rafael Leal, huh? Did you see that goal? Yeah, he that, uh, man ran, that man. That man pretty much dribbled. He ran through the entire team and just laid off a a a, a, a sitter for Giroud. He, he took it all the way from like midfield and just. Why are we surprised? Why are we surprised at what Rafael Leal? Ever since he cost. He was on the market for one hundred and twenty million of whatever we spent on Enzo and Mudrik and all these guys and Lukaku. Even before we got Lukaku, I've been saying let's get Rafael. Why are we surprised at what this man does? I, don't, I would I, I wouldn't say anybody is surprised. It's just like that was He's a nice like, goal. That's it. <laughs> Come He's on. him. He's him. He's been him. 
He's been him. He won the Serie A MVP at the age of 22. <laughs> Well, oh, that's going to Kavicha. Oh, yeah, no is Kavicha Kavicha just turned twenty two, right? Is he or is yes, it twenty one? Yes, just turned twenty two. Yeah, it's Kavicha's turn. Kavicha's the so, young so boys. He's been on he's been on Chelsea watch list, watch list forever. How are you guys gonna afford him? We well, we, well we, now it, it seems not, like we're not gonna afford him because we're not going after him. Normally, players like him, they want to be sought after. They want to know you're going after them. Let's because he's expressed. In interviews, he's expressed like, "Oh yeah, I've interest." Always, he's, he said he's always considered Chelsea a great club. He's always seen Didier Drogba as an idol. Blah blah blah. You know the usual. But Chelsea just—we've had him on our list, but he's just never been like number one on our list ever. I, Except I think that we, one time when he cost one twenty million, and for some I, reason I, we felt like we 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 just spent it on on Lukaku rather than him. Well, we did need an out-and-out striker, but that's not an excuse either. I think the main place where we messed up, and we'll get to this later too in detail, is, is just we spent a lot of money on 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 unproven Dead products Dead that have that that now have seven-year-long contracts. Dead they, after this season, they still have six years on their contract. That these seven years was genius. Now it's in, F- in FFP terms. In FFP terms, it's genius because it spreads it over the, the the seven years. But like in reality, looking at what we have to deal with and how it turned out with those players, now it's looking like Taboli. What? What? Wh- why? Why? Why did you set us up like this? But yeah, Liao is a Liao is someone I covet. It's it's very simple. I mean. Allow me to go on a soliloquy here. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before a soliloquy, <laughs> let's just let's just formally introduce the topic. So, uh, Chelsea, you've had you've had quite a, 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 a last ten days, I'll say. Um, so, Real Madrid dumped you out of the Champions League today, convincingly yes. so today. Yo, yo, <laughs> Rodrigo walked in. Us how to goal, score. Yeah. Because those two chances Rodrigo had, we had, and we didn't put him away. And I mean, one of them, like, the Conte, Conte let me show you how to score position. goals. That's what they did. <laughs> Go on, sorry. Go. Conte, Conte Go on. has been known not to be a finisher. And then, as far as, as far as uh, the Cucurella chance, to be honest, I think he did all he could have in that situation. I personally I mean, think Courtois made an amazing save. It's fact. Yeah, that's just if, outside of outside of the shot that that Cucurella ended up taking, he would have had to take that chance first time. And with the way he, the way he got there, it just he was off balance. I think he had more opportunity of skying the ball, which is why he took that touch. I was saying, I uh, no a, a truly elite wing back like Marcus Alonso would have would have blasted that in, but Cucurella is a fraud. He's officially on fraud watch, and <laughs> I hope Man City no, no, no. come in with a with a with a bid for him because you guys need. No, we're going after Chilwell actually. We're going after Chilwell actually. <laughs> Chilwell that just signed a new contract like a week ago. Yeah, oh, all right. Good good. Good. <laughs> you've already good extended, the way we see it, you've already extended him for us. You've already see you've done the already you've done the hard part. So, anyways, but before before you guys go in, it's a little because I know you guys have a lot to say about Chelsea, but I just want to single out one. Zachariah, Zacharias, Dennis Zacharia. No, no, no. This one, this one, this this one <laughs> on our podcast. Here. Last episode, you said some foolishness, and you talked some nonsense on my guy Ake's name. I need you to not only uh, walk back. I need you to apologize for disrespecting this man. After what I saw, now hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait. After what I saw today. Coupled with what I saw over the weekend. Oh. To, for you to say Chaloba and, and, and Bashia, ba, Badia Shield. Better than Way Ake. better. Way better. Bro, the way, you got, the way they got Here's done why. and dusted on Saturday. Don't do this. Here's why. I won't put Brighton at 70% just over you. No, can you compare the matches 
Nathan Ake has played compared to those two guys combined. Just now, big, big matches Ake has Way played. Way more than Made big, made big my saves. My point, exactly. And it's not like Nathan Ake is void of mistakes. The guy's been solid. Ever since he got to Man City, ever since he's been put in Man City, he's been solid. Ever since then, solid. Outside of his first year, he's been solid. How long has he been there? Two years. Outside of his first year, he's been solid. Oh, he said, "Thank you for saying outside." Listen, he he needs, he needs, he needs a (laughs) growth period. He needs a growth period. (laughs) Meanwhile, you people, you you guys, you put him, you spot them in, and it's like, you know, yo, it's open season back there. It's 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 open season back there. Anytime, bro. Bro, 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 Look, look, look. When when, when we were comparing those players, when we were comparing those players, we were, were, which is what we said. We said we're comparing them based on the limited sample size that. Chaloba and Badu Shield have played we compared to Aki. As as Aki has been stuck in soccer. for Man City for what? A year? Two years Two. now? Chaloba is starting is probably like his fourth he game cares. all season. Fourth game starting all season. And so if I it's see. one it's only one time he got cooked. And that was running. Well, who who cooked there? Was it Rodrigo? But he went for the tackle and he missed. A lot of players do that. Nine out of ten times he makes that tackle, but he's not, not he's not match fit. He yeah. he did his best. I think he had a decent game. Honestly, I don't blame yeah. him for what happened because everybody else was was bad as well. You know, if we had finished our chances, it wouldn't matter that he got cooked. Maybe at that point it would be like it would be two one to Chelsea if we knew how to finish. So it's not even his fault. Disclaimer: You have to cancel out the Conte chance. Conte is known not to be a finisher. Oh yeah, yeah he's, but he has he's finished. Talking, but he's had a couple good finishes though. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still a chance. It's still a chance, bro, and he missed it. I don't, I don't game blame game. him for missing it, but he, he did miss it. But it was a chance. Goal. It's the first time for everything. And yeah, today wasn't that day. No, I not score one for two years for Chelsea this season. Yeah. No day. It's it's what, it's, what? it's like it's almost like. We're snake bitten, and our players go into the match knowing something is gonna go wrong, and so like you can see it how they handled the ball. It's like all hot potato. Like either one player is trying to like do too much, or another player is not doing enough, and he's just like being com- complacent, either <clears throat> passing it back, not making the right read, or just. Not following through on a tackle, and no, 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 I get it. Kante is not on. He's he's barely seventy percent. You know, games maybe might be eighty percent, but still, against going up against Vinicius, you need to be a damn near ninety five percent. I think that's the most frustrating part too, like just how disjointed yeah. they play, because it's like you can see how like the potential of these players, how good they could be, but they're just. It's just not. They're in their head, like I, 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 like I'm saying. They're they're they're. It's all in their head. Like it's been such a bad season that, like you can just. Yeah, they just want it to be over. They're they're low, just want... they're number one, they're low on confidence. So whatever pass they make, it's just not like, it's just not with the same like energy. They're not playing with the same energy. Like yeah, they're they're playing soccer. But like they're playing like they're they're, they're playing like they're playing the championship. Intensity. There's an energy and an intensity that comes with playing for Chelsea, and like I've seen it because we won the Champions League. Like my goodness, like some of these players won the Champions League, but even the players that won the Champions League are not playing with that, and partially because of injury, partially because they're not match fit. I mean, my goodness, there's no way Kai Havertz is match fit. The guy hasn't played in two, three matches. Not a single play in two weeks. Mason Mount has gone right. missing. He hasn't even yeah. been in the lineup for like it. how and long? Hunter Gallagher, I applaud the guy for whatever he did over the weekend, but this is the first time he's starting back-to-back games through the season. He's not – he hasn't – he hasn't he, – he doesn't understand what it's like to be a starter for – you're playing guys out of position – like Ch- Chaloba should not be playing left center back. Like, the worst thing, but 
That's the, the first time Chalobo has ever played left center back. And you're playing him at a, a at, big against game Madrid. against Real Madrid. Do you know something that was also funny? It seemed like whenever we were in possession, it was Kante up on the right next to Reese James. That that really confused me a lot. Because like the only time that Kante has ever played in like advanced role when he had to, like the license to go for it was under oh. Sari. And and that didn't really even end that well. Like so Lampard, I don't know. I I, I feel like it never works. <laughs> Todd Bowley said he brought in Lampard to provide a clear plan and some stability for the end of the season. But all it's been has been a record four losses in a row. First of a Chelsea coach. And uh, first since like 1962 that we lost four in a row. And we got we got people playing all over the place. And it, it seems like it's only going to get worse with these with these we next eight games. Game Lampard yet. No, we've lost all four. At least Grand Porter won us some games. Look, if we look, we can keep going back and backwards and backwards, and we can like hindsight is twenty twenty. But now that you look back, it's just like a series of unfortunate events that has been cascaded, that has been started from management. Like if I had to sum up this season in one word, tragic, or or a tragedy, a, a Greek tragedy. And probably a financial tragedy too, because it just seems like they, they they're just throwing money around with no clear plan. And he he went into the dressing room trying to call the players' performance embarrassing. To you, Mister Taboli, you are the true embarrassment because all of this is your fault. And to add to to no for for real, he really thought that he could go into the players and call their performance embarrassing, like like bro. Like, all right, <laughs> let me not call him. Right. Sir, I told you, <laughs> like, whatever you did clearly had negative effects. You like, clearly don't know what you're doing. So maybe... Maybe, maybe don't get rid of everybody that knows what they're doing. Maybe, yes, maybe... Let's go back to the past. Maybe you should not have alienated Marina and Bruce Buck. That was the first thing you did. Literally, the first thing you did. Oh, nah, let's get rid of Marina. One of the best technical directors. She She's literally won Europa's best technical director. She's literally like voted by all of the coaches, everybody. She's Europa's best technical director. Yeah, let's get rid of her. Let's get rid of Bruce Buck. Actually, let's get rid of the entire board. Let's get rid of Peter Check too. Caught it straight. Peter Check, everybody. Let's get rid of them. So now you want to bring in Frank Lampard and Ashley Cole. And I saw Ashley Cole's little speech to the defenders. He was look. He was talking, trying to sound like. I'm like, Ashley Cole. What? What are we? He's a he's, he's a he's a he's a youth team coach. Up? He's a youth team coach. What are we doing I'll, I'll, here? Look, if if Bowley oh has done God. one good thing, and this is the only good thing, it was not taking no for an answer when it came to Enzo Fernandez. All them other signings, Sterling, Koulibaly, Cucurella, Harry Potter, Firing Potter, Firing Tuco, just L's, 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 all of them. Maybe Badia Shield, Badia Shield has shown levels. But everybody else is just, it's just like, damn, yeah, like, I, I thought, like, I thought, like, we, we could buy, we could buy a win, but apparently you can't buy a win nowadays. You actually have to have a good team. Moving on? Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, this, I'm, I'm, you guys look so, yeah, okay, so, so before we move on, I just have a question. So, so does that mean? Does that mean from what I'm hearing, you both have given up on the season? It's a done deal. You just it's, it's time to just let bygones be bygones. I mean, Marcus, if 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 you go back to to the previous since what episode twenty when Grand Potter just got hired, what did I say? It's about next season. So, I've, that's all I've been saying the whole time. That's all. That's all. Ever since Grand Port, ever since 
Once Tuchel got fired, what did I say? It's about next season. There, there is no way a new you're gonna bring in a new coach, bring in five, six, seven hundred million players, and just be like, okay, let's just. It, it's it doesn't work that way. I mean, my God, I've I even I've even brought up the example of FIFA, and I know FIFA is not real; and it's just a video game. But I'm saying, even in a video game where you you can bend, literally bend things to your will, it still takes time for the AI to learn your path. It takes time, even the AI, a computer that. You have to, it's a computer, so it's not, it doesn't work on human time. It still takes time. <laughs> How about humans that like, we're so different, different cultures. Mudrik is from Ukraine, Shakhtar, where they barely play like what, 40 games? And Premier League plays 68 they're, they're, games. They're also in the middle of a war too, by the way. In the middle, Just thank saying. you. How Felix is from Spain, where, I mean, my goodness, he was seen as a, oh, the savior of Atletico Madrid, but they threw him out. They also so still want 100 mil for him, so that that's just not good. Like, it's just, it's just, oh, oh. Look, look. Like, oh, man, it's. Look, we, it's, we, we, got, we got seven games left, and these games are, none of them are easy games. There's no, I, I'll never say Chelsea have an easy game for at least two three years now <laughs> but like yeah we it, it's not easy games but hey we have lampard so i don't know what the plan is i don't know if the players are just giving up at this point i don't know what type of response we're gonna see honestly i am being pessimistic and saying it might just be another l and a draw and an l and a win we might not score again for the rest of the season you know, and like I'm really being it, pessimistic it, by saying that. No, no, you're <laughs> too, too nice. Chelsea <laughs> Football Club, I'm officially putting them on relegation watch. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think it's that deep. How many points do we have? Absolutely. I we think it's that deep. Week. It is absolutely that deep. We haven't scored in four games. We scored last week. We were losing. Yeah, but we lost. Okay. There's no, there's no way in hell we get, we get relegated, bro. Come on. No, um, no, 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 no. I said relegation. Watch, not we get relegated. It's probably going. It's so, gonna so what like, is it? Is it, a, is it a bad of Seeing season, how, how season, low we drop. Second season. Just we drop down to second season when we finish fourteenth. I'm afraid it's looking like that season. I, can okay, we if if. Tarboli probably thinks he can tack, tank for draft picks at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's not draft yeah, because it's American. <laughs> no, I, it's a joke. But if, <laughs> yes, it is no draft picks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're talking about. Tank just kidding. Draft just picks. kidding. Just kidding. No, because it's American. Because it's American owner. It's American owner. But, yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> The BR BR football put out a put out a video and it was like Taboli going to the dressing room after the game. It's like, hey, we lost the first two games, but we still have five games left in the series. Let's go, boys. It was just it was just oh, it's like damn, we're so low and they're just kicking us. It's they just you know. But hey, it's fun. It's fun. Chelsea are the punching bag of the season. Yeah, it's gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Like I said, Joseph Mourinho's second spell. It got really bad. And then the next season, we won the league. So, um, yeah, Marcus, like you're saying, uh, do we expect anything out from the rest of the season? No, not really. I'll be watching to see. I like I have zero expectations. I don't think we get relegated, but I also don't think we finish higher than 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 tenth. Tenth. It's so, it's a hope. so it's a hope a prayer. <laughs> yeah, like you know, um, so Lamp. It, it's like it's like even with Lampard in, it's like you would think that a person who knows no. he only has so many games would oh, like devise no. a simple, logical game plan 
But no, he started then in Zakaria. Who isn't going to be at the club next season? I can't season? even lie. You no, know, it doesn't make any sense. But I, I don't know what he what he wants to do. He says stability and good vibes. I, I don't I don't see it. He's so. consistently picked the wrong starting lineup. For yeah, him. so like the sooner this, this season is over, the sooner I can forget this season happened. And if you ask me about yes. last season, next season, I'm not going to reply. By the way, we're winning the champion, the Premier League next year. That's, that's my hot take from all of this. If we yeah. get the right coach. If we get the right coach, we'll be up there. Okay. Well, hey, man. Hey, man. Right. We've had two Italian coaches. Have, we've had three coaches that have come in after a terrible time and won the league in their first year. It's happened three times in the past 10 years, 15 years. So, hey, man. They, they called me a madman, but it's okay. All right. Whatever you say, boss. Um, let's talk Premier League. And with that, we oh, next up, we have, uh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We Liverpool. got the other side, no, the successful side of London, Arsenal Football Club. Man City. You know, Arsenal Football Club. They. Where's Man City. Actually, huh? Is that next? That's next. Uh, yeah, that's well, next. we're talking about what happened. Last. Yeah, we're talking about last weekend. Oh, okay, what happened? Oh, the capitulation. A draw oh, points against one West Ham United. Wait, 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 wait. match 2-2. Two, two. Now, the quick flowers? thing about this one is they were up 2-0 within 10 minutes. Can I wasn't? Mm-hmm. Can I get my flowers, please? Can I get my flowers? Please. No. Can I finally get my flowers about being right about Arsenal? Please. You don't get can no flowers. Can someone give me my flowers? Marcus, oh, don't give him anything. Don't give him nothing. Oh, man. He's a Chelsea fan. Chelsea fans don't deserve flowers. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Marcus, haven't I been saying this since the start of the season? Since yeah. the start. I'm telling you, brother, they will find a way to give this back to Man City. And Man City will take it. <laughs> and run for the hills. Take it and run for the hills. Sierra Butlers, look, if if they bottle this league, which it, it increasingly looks like they will, yeah, I'm never going to forgive them because I have been defending them for at least 20, 26 of 31 episodes, and, and this is what I get. Not, not just my team being trash, but them thrown away at the end to West Ham and, and Liverpool. Like... Oh. <laughs> Sad. 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 No, all we need to do, all we need to do now is just, you know, see them next Wednesday. Yeah, three points. <laughs> Champions League. I mean, there's a Champions League. Premier League title is in our hands, and it will be the first to three peat since, you know, I think United was the last one that did it. Disgraceful. So oh, I, I mean, disgraceful. It's the, it, it's, you mean fateful, ordained. Destiny. Paid for. You drank. <laughs> Bribed. <laughs> Financial misconduct. Incoming transfer ban. All right. Strip. So while Arsenal was dropping points, <laughs> while Arsenal was dropping points, mm-hmm. the team right behind them, my Manchester City, went down to Leicester and did some good work. Um, uh, Rich uh, those Foxes was boss. Erling Haaland. Continuing his record-breaking season, two yes. goals on the spin uh, in that game. One penalty, one from open play. The guy's a machine, man. The guy's a machine. Yeah. He's a terminator. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. 70 million. That's all we pay for him. His release squad. Yes. It's a damn shame. Well, yep. City are on the title march once again. You know, I don't know. I thought Arsenal could stop them, but hey, it's City. Not even. It looks like even Bayern, even Bayern tomorrow. Like that's another team. I, I'm way more disappointed in them than anybody else. I'm more disappointed in Bayern than I am in my team because at least my team have an excuse. But then Bayern like, bottled it. <laughs> Bayern capitulated. How do you lose three zero in the first leg? Okay. Because we are just too good. Yo, in fact, in fact, you hear to here first. We're gonna close out um, tomorrow's leg in style. It's gonna be either two nil 
either going to be 2 0 or we're going to go and break the bank with how many goals we're pushing past the past that keeper. It, it might it might look like Liverpool against Leeds. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hold you. Speaking of Liverpool versus Leeds, what have I been? Can can I get my flowers? Okay, Zach, you're not gonna give me flowers because I didn't give you flowers. But actually, I'll give you your flowers now. What? I'll give you Arsenal flowers. Correct, you're right. But have I not been screaming about putting Trent in midfield? And now they put Trent in midfield, and what happens? They score no, six. No, you copied off what I said. No, I didn't. I was the first one who said it. I was the first one. <laughs> Trent in midfield, really? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. And it works. You know what? I'll give you your, your, your flowers. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. But hey, I you see? I agree with you. I agree with you. I've, I've always been saying this. Put Trent Alexander-Arnold in midfield. And like... Does, I, I, he doesn't need I to defend anymore. I almost said draft a right back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Find a young, talented right back and put him there, man. Apparently, they've <laughs> given up on they've given up on Bellingham, so they just put Trent in there. Find find a right back. Yeah, yeah. Bellingham's gonna cost too much, bro. They have broken about one hundred and thirty. Yeah, yeah, only yeah. like Man City, Madrid, PSG, maybe Man U. Nah, not Man U, but. Maybe Newcastle, but he's not going there. Can't afford him. Mm-hmm. I don't really no, I, I don't even really see the hype in Bellingham. I guess because I just don't watch him. But is he really that good that he's worth 130? Yeah. I think I think given the right circumstances, um, with the team around him, the guy the guy will blow up. I think he's, I think to wrap it up, I think he's what everybody thought Pogba was going to be before all the injuries and, and all the off the, off the field stuff became issues. I mean, that, that same club gave us uh, Sancho too, but yeah. but also Haaland was there too, you know? Hey, I, I, don't, I don't trust players leaving the German league to the Premier League anymore. I don't trust none of them. I mean, you need to put Sancho with his guy, though, Holland. San, Sancho got those numbers with Holland. Mm. Mm. That's true. It does help when you have, like, a a Terminator up top. like a quarterback to his, like, number one re- re- receiver. Mm. If you take the, the one receiver away... Not all some some quarterbacks are special, but some they need that dog right there. That, that guy who who knows them. So yeah, mm-hmm. like like who's Sancho passing? Ooh, to? Like Zach, forced? Zach, crazy idea. What if we upgrade Kovacic with Bellingham? I'm what not sure. I'm I'm not, I'm not sure what. Don't worry about it. Are you FFP? Don't worry about it. We need more help than that. I'll be, so. I'll be, I'll be the one snitching the FFP. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we need, I'll be the we one need, snitching. We need more help. We need more help. Than well, that's just that, that's just one position. Kovacic out, we Bellingham need in. Wing backs. We need wing. Backs. We need to set up Kukurella. We need wing backs. We need we need to shift. We need to ship Felix back to Atletico, July thirty first. Nine in the morning, buy my first class ticket. And this guy was just saying we're keeping Felix. No, I want to keep Felix, but there's some other players that can we can. I think I think we can like, spend that hundred. That there's a hundred. There's a hundred million, and we already have Havertz. Like there's there's no point spending a hundred million on Felix at this point. No, yeah, the one on hundred million. Yeah, the one on hundred yeah, million. There's there's greater there's greater Good position luck. of needs than, yeah, than Felix. Yeah, we can we can. We have Mud- Mudrik, so work, 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 work good on that. But anyway, and we have Mukunku coming in. Enough about Chelsea. Let's let's uh, move on to the um, the upcoming fixtures for this week. Or, or what okay. do we got? Wait. Let's bring it back to Arsenal. Arsenal starts off Premier League on Friday oh, yep. against yep. bottom of the table Southampton. 
with the way Arsenal's been dropping points recently, you know, <laughs> this game is, is good for anything to happen. And if and if if Arsenal were to yeah. drop points in this game, it's it, perfect. That's pretty much that. That's pretty much ending the, the Champions this League. Giving points away. Ending the tie. I mean, ending the <laughs> title great. race. Good God. Mm. It would be a straight disaster. Straight disaster. It would be just embarrassing. And I don't think they're ever going to recover from that. They better not tie this game. Like, I, I mean, they better not tie this game. I don't even talk about losing. They better not tie this game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, <laughs> anything less than a win is, is a disaster for them. And it's Southampton, the, the worst I team in the league. Love. Manchester City side of me would love, would love. Hey man, it is what it is. Anything else interesting going on in the league? Man, you Chelsea was postponed. Got mid-table yeah, battles right, all over the place. We play, we play the bees. Hopefully, Ivan Tony doesn't. Oh, he will. He will. It's, he will. Because it's a yeah, rivalry it's, game. Because they're also a London club, of course. He he will. I have a Tony probably putting money on a hat trick against Chelsea as we speak. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, really. Like, they're a London club. They're down the street from Stamford Bridge. What do you think's going to, what do you think the Brentford players are thinking? Like, I don't understand why. Why does every club show up to Chelsea like it's it's a Champions League final, but then they go to they Liverpool? Ain't us, and, and, they ain't us because they ain't us. They ain't us. They ain't us. No, they ain't no. us because they no, ain't us. No, no. Let me let me let me tell you game real quick. Let me tell you game real quick. Speak game. The Speak game. the the clubs at the bottom of the table of relegation zone points are so tight. Goal difference, yeah. is gonna, yeah. goal difference is going to make the difference. And right now, it's an open highway to your goal. That's why. <laughs> Brentford not, not in, in relegation, but like still, like any club in London, is just they always punish us. Because no other club in London has won the Champions League. Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. So, yeah, they always want to punish us, you know, because like I said, they hate us because they hate us. There's one team that's won the Champions League that is an outlier, apart from the usual guys. I forget which what it is. In London, a London club. Huh, this source is saying Aston Villa and Nottingham Forest. I think that's what I was Those aren't for. London clubs. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Yeah. But yeah. Apart from them, it's uh, Liverpool and Man U. Yeah. yeah, not London clubs. No London club has won the Champions League but Chelsea. Is that why, though? I don't know. Yeah, bro, yes. What? Come you on, see us bro. as a team to beat? Yeah. I don't, even, I don't even think they'd be thinking about it. We've won it twice. And Arsenal has won it zero. And Tottenham has won it zero. And then okay. Manchester City that. will be joining it. We'll be by this time next year. I'll be saying we won it once. I rejected the name of Jesus, my you friend. Wish. Reject yourself. Go. You should be worried <laughs> about rejecting all the curses that is making you head towards relegation at this point. Yeah, going to lose to Real Madrid. So I can when see, you see when you see our when you see our club logo. Do you see a lion? No. Okay. When you see like, our shirt, when you see our like, shirt, does like, it say Manchester City or Chelsea? It says. I mean, have you guys ever be in Real Madrid? Don't worry about that. <laughs> That's a legit question. They have, they have once under Joe, when Real Madrid was coached by Jose Marino, but then they came back and beat you in the reverse leg. Yeah, they won four three, and then Madrid yeah. came back three one. Yeah, but then they also beat them in the international champ. This this has to be a friendly preseason four one. Come on, please friend preseason friendly. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll see. This is a whole new. I'll, I'll say this is a whole new Man City. That that formation is like that's a crazy formation they've been playing lately. But I think Real yeah. Madrid have the tools to beat that. French kiss. 
they have the tools, but none of the tools have the legs. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. The last time you were in Champions League final, you said we didn't have the tools or the legs, and we still won. So we'll see. But it's not about us. It's all about the people that made it, that deserve to make it. Um, By the way, we still got Inter and Benfica. I think yes. Inter is going in with a 1-0. We, we still got Man City's second leg against Bayern. Nah, no, no. Oh, I mean, it's good as done. It's good as done and dusted. Good and done and dusted. Well, I, I, think, I think Man City are, are pretty much out. There's yeah. no way they lose 4-0. So they're, they're yeah. through. Uh, as far as Inter, Inter is up 1-0. Oh, I think Inter, yeah, Inter definitely wins this and sets a date with AC Milan. Oh, 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 wow. Juicy, juicy. Yeah. Storytelling right there. It's yeah. a Milan double action. The same, the same stadium twice. That's it. Same gonna, stadium. Oh, I'm the, you, the, the, the ultras are going to go crazy. Home. They don't got to go it's nowhere. Like no home. <laughs> Probably get dropped off by their wives and mothers and grandmothers at yeah. the stadium. Oh, that would be that would be war. That would be Ooh, that's yeah. that's that's a war zone. I hope they have police. They have the stadium surrounded because something crazy can happen. War. Honestly, I'm, I'm I'm really surprised that Napoli folded. Well, it's not really surprising, but it's like Giroud missed a penalty, then Kavicha missed a penalty. Osimhen scored. I'm you know, surprised. I'm not surprised not fully folded. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm very surprised. I really thought, I really <laughs> thought the advantage was they would have had all the rest because they yeah. weren't going to be serious in the league because that they pretty much did that job. The blue did losing it. to a team yeah. that beat you four zero. Big surprise. Hey, it's tough. <laughs> but what I will say is, uh, like um, that Milan semi final wouldn't be bad. Milan, I'm telling in, you, it's in Milan. Into Milan, yeah. get some Milan, Milan action going. I, I I would say it's just as big as a Real Madrid and Man City game. Like, Real Madrid got that. Like I'm I'm not even worried about that. I don't know. I might, I might be a smidgen worried because like I could see how if we could finish, we we, we would have beaten Real Madrid. So maybe There's I'm a no smidgen way. worried. Just, it's, it's just it's just what it is. And right now, mm-hmm. Real Madrid, they're on to the next one. Mm-hmm. This is what they do. All I know is Chelsea, Chelsea only loses to champions. So, <laughs> all right, we'll give you we'll give you the, the the short dub where you deserve it. I guess <laughs> from that we've been bashing Chelsea enough as it is today. Um, and with that, I think that takes us to the end of this episode. Thank you for listening up until this point. As always, we love you, appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. See you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>